Morning there, one tree's blowing. Well, I've run into a problem with this holster. It's a Galco holster that I've had for a long time with my uh, LCR. And it just it's lost all its uh, retention. It's just not like I want it. And when you get it on the belt, it just don't like a little bit tighter. This is my Kydex that I made if, that I use for my inside the waistband. But my clip broke, so I gotta redo that. I don't always wear inside the waistband. I got enough inside my waistband without putting a gun sometimes. But we're gonna try something different and uh, see if we can't uh, tighten this thing up a little bit. Okay, here we go. I've got some hot water here, just letting the holster set in a little bit and get kind of pliable. You can see where she's over time, she's lost all its uh, impressions of the gun itself. Let's see if we can get this a little bit up here a little bit. There we go. We're just going to let it set this hot water for a little bit. Now it's hot water, but it's not scalding hot. I mean, I can keep my fingers in it for a few seconds here. What I'm trying to do is soften the leather up some. I've searched and I couldn't find any other way to do this. And I watched uh, knife making, uh, not for leather sheets video, and he was doing it for knives. So I thought, well, if it works for knives, it should work for a gun. I know some of you guys are going to cringe when you put a gun in a wet holster, but we're going to do it anyway. that set here for just a couple seconds okay Let's take some of this out wipe some of this excess off of it take a little bit of the water out of the inside of it set this aside the gun is unloaded of course okay, we're going to put that in there and we're just going to try to kind of work some of these areas get it smoothed out here a little bit and try to get some of its form back around the trigger and the cylinder here. Hope I'm getting that in frame good for you. We're just going to kind of form it with our fingers. Yeah, I've had this Galco ever since I've had the LCR, and I've had this thing, well, God, ever since I come out with them, I guess. And just over the years of using it and practicing with it, it's just lost all its uh, retention, or as much as retention as I want, anyway. I want as much as I can get on a gun, especially for a carry gun. You know, several times... I've been over and it actually almost uh, fell out. That would be embarrassing out in public for your gun to fall out on you. Sorry about that phone call, but uh, my sister-in-law two days ago had to have cancer surgery and my wife's up there and of course everybody's calling wanting to know how everything went. So, But yeah, just keep working this and uh, like I said, I hope it works. Not, <coughs> excuse me, I'll have to invest in a new holster. But, that's about it. It's cooled down, so I'll take the gun out. Now I'll let this set for a uh, couple days to dry out good. And I'll uh, 
give you a report back. Oh, before I forget, of course, you want to take your gun. I've got some gun oil on here. Wipe it up real good. Make sure you get all the areas that come in contact with the holster. Okay, it's been about three days since I uh, wet this down and tried to reform it. And it uh, definitely, uh, I don't know if you can see right in there, got it closed up pretty good right here where it's not quite as loose as it was. I mean, it's still not as tight as I'd like it for a carry gun, but i do a little bit more work if any of you have any uh, suggestions on it just uh, leave me a comment I know it definitely closed this up uh, where it fits on the belt because it was getting where it was just kind of drooping so hope this helps some of you I mean it definitely don't have the definition that it once had but like I said it's probably five six years old with well, since they come out with this, the LCR uh, 38, I've had this holster, and of course you can see the wear on it. So it's just a little how-to, you know. It does, it does help. I mean, it's still got a lot better retention than what it did. Thanks for watching. God bless America and our armed forces, past and present.